here. Let's look at some main here. Okay. Okay. There we go. All right. So an IEEE uh, format is going to have this other setup of stuff that you can add um, with your uh, IEEE author block. Okay. So instead of writing all this in, let's just copy it. Uh, you can kind of see how it would make a difference. There we go. Nice. Okay. All right. So that is our basics for how to create uh, an IEEE article. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So Dinesh, what else do you want to know? How do you put an abstract? How do you put an abstract? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty sure. All right. Let's look over here. All right. And what do we see here underneath? Make title. We see begin abstract and abstract. So all we have to do is come down here, say begin abstract. First off, let's make sure this is closed. Secondly, let's go ahead and do that. And there you go. There's your abstract. Okay. Cool. All right. Mm -hmm. So, what else do you want to know? I guess that is it. Do you think there is something that you wanted to talk about? Um, until you're ready to talk about how to format, uh, how to set up a bibliography with BibTeX. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, but to do that, you need to have a BibTeX file. So, let's go ahead and download uh, a BibTeX file. So to do this, we're going to go ahead and move to, uh, I think we should move to another folder. So. Alright, so we'll get to that in just a second. Okay, so at this point we've done a couple of things. One is we've created a new bib, uh, new uh, bib file, vertexbib.bib, which if you look at it, and uh, let's go ahead and uh, cat that file. See, it looks very, very confusing. However, when you open it up in bibdesk, you can see that it looks very simple. It just shows you all the basic things you need to know. Okay. Nice. All right. So you know you can open these things up and you can look at the abstracts and you know write some annotation and that would help you with annotated bibliographies, which we can talk about another time. That is how I use BibDesk to help me with my LaTeX. So um, so here's our file. Uh, we can go ahead and add it. so let's say that we're looking at. This folder file, and we want to add a site. Okay. I would just go over here. I would go ahead and 
copy that. Paste it over here. There's your site. Now, of course, that's not going to do anything because we do not have the bibliography added. So we need to add that. So let's go back over here and let's have a look at our source code. This one's going to go in the preamble. Let's look at our preamble. Okay. Probably going to be kind of near the bottom. But here it is, right here. We need to tell it first off what kind of bibliography style we want to use. Okay. Which in this case is going to be the same as everything else. It's going to go up before we begin document up here. And we need to put in here, before the end of the document, we need to put in the name of our bibliography, which, if I recall, is done by saying so, vertex dash bib underscore, I guess. So, underscore. You don't usually need to do the dot bit. All right. Now, when we come back over here and we try to do a PDF, you need to go to the directory, right? Hold it to the directory. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, then we can see here it says in tech warning there are undefined references. Okay. Which means that when we open this thing up, it's not gonna it's not gonna like it. See if we go ahead.